Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm we're going to be showing you how to make drop loops or branches. But first, let's run the intro. So before we get on with the video, I just want to say thank you to everyone for subscribing and supporting the channel. Um, I think as of yesterday or last night, we hit 900 subscribers, which is amazing. And yeah, we really hope the channel keeps growing and uh, you enjoy the content. So today's topic, drop loops or branches. Um, it's quite simple and it's a very fast and effective way to get your trace uh, tied up. But there is a few ways that you can uh, do it where it becomes stronger and um, and you can uh, pull a big fish if you do hook up with one. I'm going to be showing you all five different uh, drop loops of branches uh, from the weakest one to the strongest one and uh, which one I prefer to use the most. Well, Cam and I do use all of them most of the time, but it depends on the day if we're in a hurry and we're going to tie one quickly or we have some time and just want to make sure Trace is strong enough so that we can pull uh, something bigger if we have to hook one. Okay guys, so your first dropper loop, um, I call it the granny knot uh, dropper loop, then it's the simplest one. So to tie your sink on, firstly, just make a loop in your line and a simple granny knot. Push a loop once, twice, it's up to you. Okay, and pull tight. Put your sinker on. So you you see, I'm using a big sinker and hook. It's just for demonstration purposes. You would see towards the end of the video that uh, we generally use this uh, knots and traces for smaller fish like carotid, blacktail, and keys for scratching around. Okay, so yeah, I'm sure you've seen guys do it. So you push the loop through around the sinker and pull it tight. Let's cut off the tie again very quickly. Okay, and then to make your proper loop. So here's your sinker, just double your line over. You can uh, make it as long as you want it or as short as you want it. And okay, so let's shrivel this properly. So double your line over, make a loop like so, and pull it through four times. Once, twice, three. Okay, four times. Remember to lubricate your knots and pull tight. Pull tight, and then I like to pull the loop tight like this. Make sure the knot sets properly. As you can see, it looks quite nice. So there's two ways you can put your hook on. If you're using very thin line, you can just take your line and pull it through the eye of the hook. And over your hook, once, then wrap it around just a second time. And as you can see, that sits quite nicely on the hook there, just like that. Or the way we do it is we cut one of the ends off. And just to be safe, in case you hook a, a bigger fish that does pull your knot even tighter, I leave a mill or two and then cut it. Then using a simple figure of eight, we'll tie the hook. As also comment, uh, I generally make three loops, and I'm tying my figure of eight. I see some guys do it twice, but skeptical. I don't trust it that much. But yeah, comment down below which way you tie your figure of eight. Okay, and there you have it. So that's your first drop of loop done. Quick, simple. Easy as you can see. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, your second dropper loop is uh, the one that we use to tie our uh, live bait traces, but you also can use it to uh, 
make a small space for guaranteeing of lactate. <coughs> so what you would do is, as you can see, I, I've tied the sink on already just to save time. And what you want to do is, you make a loop in your line. Again, with your ring finger, just hold that loop open, like so. And hold your one end, your index finger and thumb. And you're going to twist the one end six to seven times. So once, twice, three, four, five, six. Let's go seven times. Okay, seven times and you're going to push the other end of your loop, so the bottom end of your loop, through that. So keep it open in the center. And you're going to want to push it through. Okay, and then you're going to want to hold it open with your mouth and pull tight slowly. As you can see, that makes a lovely neat looking knot. So just the same as the last knot, you can Put your hook in through the loop, but I generally like to cut it. And we'll just tie a hook on. There you have it, guys. The second dropper loop. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so your third uh, loop of branch that you're going to make is using an all right knot. So I've tied the sink onto my main line and as you can see with this knot uh, you generally want to cut a piece of line out for your hook's note and tie your hook onto it first. The reason why I like this knot is because you can get your hook length exactly the way you want it. So if I pinch it there, that's where my hook is going to sit on my line. If I pinch it but further up, it will sit there. And if you have seen the upright knot before, it's Quite simple so make a loop in your main line push your hooks knot through pull both together and then you're gonna twist six times so once two three, okay six times and then the trick here is to go back the way your line, uh, your hook snoot came in. So, pull your hook snoot back out. And you generally want to pull your main line in your hook snoot, not your tag ends. So, as you can see there, I'm going to pull tight. I'm just going to pull this the tighter. And let this sit properly. Now, pull your tag ends. Look at that, guys. It's also a very quick, simple knot that you can make. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so the fourth knot I'm going to show you is a back to back figure of eight. Now, why I like this knot is when you're fishing in Powell Reef. Um, you generally want to use the thinner sinker line and this method of tying the, the chase helps you put a thinner sinker line so if you do get stuck the thinner line on the sinker would break off so to do that on your main line or your main chase line you want to tie a hook on then measure the distance that you would like your hook snoot to be and just make a loop and push your hook through twice so once, twice, and pull it fairly tight until it creates that eight. Okay, and leave the loop to that. Now with your sinker already tied onto your thinner line, you're going to push or follow the line through those loops towards your hook. So as you can see, there's the loops. My hook is down here, so I'm pushing it towards the hook. So I'm going to follow the line through and back out the other end as well. 
This knot is one of the strongest knots you can use for anything. I love the figure of knot. Okay, so after doing that, you're just gonna basically tie your figure of eight on to the other side using your single So Three loops. So let that knot open up nicely. And that's your figure of eight. Pull it semi tight and then you're not gonna slowly pull it together. Cut off your tie again. Okay, so here's your back to back figure of eight with your thinner, thinner single snooting. So for our fifth and final drop loop knot, it's uh, Cam and I's favorite knot to use. It's the strongest one. And yeah, I think we use it basically on every <laughs> fishing trip. So to tie this knot here, as you can see, I've got the sinker tied on already. And you want to double your line over to make a loop. Okay, now with that dou line doubled over, make another loop and push through that loop um, four times so once four times okay and pull it tight you would notice that you combine two different knots to make this knot which shows you that it's not going to part at all and i think most of the time with cam and i fishing in the reefs we most of the time either break our sink off or straighten our smaller hooks before busting this notch here. So we really do trust it. Okay, so after putting your loops through and pulling it tight, you want to take your single snooting and your main line and make another loop. And just like our second knot, our dropper loop knot. You're gonna go around five to six times. And push that first loop through. So guys, this knot does take a bit of practice. So try it out at home with some old line and uh, once you perfected it, I promise you, you will not go back. Okay, so once you've pulled that first loop through, let that not sit against all those uh, twists that you've made. Okay, and now you're going to pull it slowly. Try and pull it evenly as well. So that you don't have any kinks. And look at that. I think this is called a, a T-knot. It generally creates like a swivel effect looks very neat and I promise you it's extremely strong and yeah we can confidently fish for smaller fish with this and have no worry if you do hook something bigger so simply once again cut one end of it off tie your hook on so there you have it guys that's your tea knot. Yeah guys, there you have it. Uh, our five different ways of uh, tying a dropper loop or a branch to make your trace. I uh, hope you'll enjoy that. And yeah, using these uh, knots, we've uh, taught a lot of our small, uh, smaller cousins uh, how to uh, fish and enjoy the fishing. So you would see after this, uh, we have a few clips um, of our little bro uh, Latreus that we had the privilege of spending a few days with uh, fishing what well, we do fish with him most of the time you have seen him before but yeah he had a blast uh, catching some quarantine and smaller fish uh, amongst the reefs so uh, yeah hope you'll enjoy the video please uh, drop a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't and yeah come join the fun fishing interesting family and let's grow together welcome back guys Another episode of Fun Fishing Frenzy. Kiran here at the trails. Hi guys. Uh, 
we here at Water Beach this morning. We're trying to get a few liveies after throwing a spoon, trying to get a shad. Kenan's got his garrakee trace, trying to find some small fish. We are they're getting some garrick here, so we're gonna try. And we'll, we'll come back to you all if we get something. Right there, what that was. Yeah, the general broke in the spine. Yeah. There you go. Start it now. The troublemaker. Yeah. There you go. Got says on a fish. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, it's biting, biting, biting. Oh, a trick. Small black tail. So put it back. Yep. Okay, take it off. Hey, <laughs> got another one. You guys still having fun today? Yes. Yes. Another one. And again, and again. Huh? <laughs> no way I saved this. It's so small. Look at small. Hey, 
Right up with BC. We got a canteen. Canteen. I think suck it properly. Fuck <laughs> that. Having fun today? Yes. Catching lots of fish. Yes. Subscribe. <laughs>